Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is the start of my Easter week and I am so excited to show you the things that I've come up with for this week. Um, starting off with this one, I thought I'd start off with this amazing, I think, because I just love it when something in my head comes together. Um, this is a wicker woven style gift bag or basket. Um, it's so easy to make. I have made sure that, you know, the instructions I give you are very straightforward. Um, but I just love the way that it's turned out and with a little bit of distressing with some inks and literally just using craft card. I think, I hope you agree that this is a really large, nice size basket. And underneath it's got this proper crate looking base. You could put some more card over the top if you were worried that what you're putting in may be very, very heavy. But even like a bottle of wine will be fine in this as well. So I wanted to start off with the basket at the beginning because then everything I make through the week, this is seven days as well, so seven projects this year. Last year I'd done five and I'll share those um, projects as well, the links to that. Um, but I'm gonna be putting the things in the baskets. So by the end of the week, I'm gonna have two full baskets of gifts for family members. So these little um, lovely little carrots as well, um, I just think finish it off really nicely. Of course you can put anything on it, you can put a nice big sentiment in the middle. The handle moves, you could have two handles if you wanted, but I only really do need just the one just to hold it obviously. And then I just put this shredded paper inside as well, but I absolutely adore this and I really hope you enjoy the tutorial. So what you're gonna need you do need a fair amount of card. Um, these are the carrots. You get a pack of seven, and these are from Poundland. So obviously it was a pound for seven of them, and I'll be using another two, and then I'll be using that random one. Um, oh no, three, sorry, and then there was one more, which I've used on another project. So yeah, they're the three for today. Um, so you need, I think it was it was five pieces of A four card in total. Now I'm using my favourite craft card, which is by Do Crafts. Um, I get the pack of 100 sheets for 9.99. It might have been 8.99 actually from the range. And again, I'll share all the links to that, but you can also buy packs of 24, or tw no, packs of 25 for I think three or 4.99, possibly. I think it's 3.99. Again, I'll share all those links for you. So let me just go through everything you're so i've already need. prepared one side so this is basically what you have is these two main you know your front and your back and that is how it's going to look and then the side pieces are just separate pieces of card okay so it's um it's kind of all put together by one two four pieces so this is what we'll be putting together in a moment so i'll leave that to one side so you need um for your side panels, you need two pieces of four by eight and a quarter. So it's the full length of um, standard UK A4 um, card. Um, if you're in um, other parts of the world where, it, where you use letter paper, which is eight and a half by 11, you'll just need to bring your eight and a half piece in slightly. So I've, you know, I've made it so that everyone can use their A4 or letter paper rather than 12 by 12. So yeah, two pieces of the four by eight and a quarter, and you want to score along the four inch side at three eighths of an inch, then at three and five eighths of an inch, and then in the middle, you want to score at two inches, roughly just down to six inches. So I've got a little marker here. Um, otherwise, just hold your ruler up along this side and just score down, just roughly, it's just to help us with this piece here, we're just squeezing it in there. Um, and then rotate it onto the eight and a quarter inch side and you're gonna score at seven and three quarters, like so, okay? So you need to do that twice so you've got then two pieces like this. Now again, the craft card was just the perfect card for this because the color, it looks like it's um, a real kind of like wicker basket and um, it just works so well and it's super strong once you've added glue to it as well. So this is 300 GSM, 280 or 300, I'm sure it's 300. Um, okay, so I'm gonna show you cutting all the strips, but basically to make, um, so one, two, that's my handle, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, yes, yeah, seven. So you need 14 strips for each side. So to total you need 24, 20, no sorry, 14. So 28 strips of one by 
um, 11. Okay, so I've already cut here a piece of my A4 and I've cut it down to eight and a quarter by 11. Again, those of you using letter paper, yours will already be at 11, so all you need to do is cut the eight and a half down to eight and a quarter, okay? So you get your sheet um, of that size, so the eight and a quarter by 11, and then you're just gonna cut strips that are one inch thick. So let me just grab my trimmer. And you'll get seven pieces out of this. So that's why I said, so you need 28 in total. So that I use four pieces of this. Then you'll get your sides out of the other piece plus your handle. So that's your five pieces in total. So pop this in and line it up to one inch. Make sure it's nice and straight all the way down and then just cut your okay. straight. Okay. Now I've got my seven strips and you'll have a little bit left over. Um, okay, so do that with all four pieces of eight and a quarter by 11 and you will have 28 strips and you will have four piles of seven, okay? Two of those piles will create one of these sides, all right? So I hope I'm making sense here. Now, what you want to do is this is all where you're going to be weaving it in and out and it's very very easy now the easiest way that I find to do this is if you've got a grid background it's really going to help now if not you'll probably find that if you've got two rulers that will be just fine as well now what I'm going to do is first of all grab one of my strips and I'm just going to line it along any of these lines it doesn't matter so I'm just going to pick this line here and I just want to make sure that that stays nice and straight with this line here then I'm going to put my ruler up the other side. Actually, I'm going to come down a bit and go down to here. And I'm going to line my ruler up with the very bottom of that same line that this piece of card is up against. So you can see there what I'm doing. I'm just sitting it against, and you can see it comes up to that one inch marker. And again, I want to make sure that that ruler stays nice and straight with the line running up this way. Okay, so I've created a perfect right angle. Now that is then what we're gonna to use to then lie down. But basically, first of all, you're just laying all your pieces out. And this, by doing it this way, it just means that you get it in a perfect square. And once you've started it off, then you can get rid of all this and it's quite easy. Now the, the height of this will come in at seven. You wanna come up to seven and three quarters. So let me just pull them all down. I'm taking from different piles, it doesn't matter. But you want it to, the top one needs to come up to seven and three quarters and the bottom one is right at the bottom here at one. Then all the ones in between you just want to spread them out so you've got equal little gaps. And they're only small gaps you can see here, just little squares, okay. So I would say the gaps I've got in between are probably one eighth of an inch, okay. So you can see now I've got them pretty neatly laid out. For some reason that one's coming in a little bit short. Let me just check the measurement of that. Maybe I came in, yeah, it's slightly under 11. I'm gonna pop that to one side for a minute. I'll recut that one because I don't want it to be because this is the face of the, the bag. There you go, that one's better. So I'll pop that one over and I'm probably gonna have to cut. I've got some scraps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, how weird's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I had a spare and it's a dud. So there you go, that doesn't matter. I don't need to cut any more. Okay, so this is what you want. So your bottom one running dead straight along a line other or another ruler. Up the side here, you want another ruler. And then you're just sitting them all the way up until it gets to seven and three quarters. Okay, then start with your next pile of seven. Put your hand down, don't matter if it's moving a little bit, this is it's all just to kind of keep you in place. And now you're just going to start with this one so it's on the top and then it's going to go under and then over the next one, under, over the next one, under and then over, like so. Okay, so you can see now I've just wove them over, under, over, under, over, under. Then bring it right down and you want it to sit perfectly on the corner there and perfectly 
along all those edges. So all of your edges should all perfectly meet. And this is the edge we're creating here. So all this is is just them woven and stuck down on top of each other. And all we're sticking is just the top, all the, the outer parts, so the top, bottom and the side. You're not sticking all of the inside bits here. These aren't stuck down. All right, so there's little sticking going. Once you start doing this, it's very easy. I'm just trying to make sure I explain it as well as I can. So once you've got that one in place, keeping all this nice and straight, making sure it's staying at that seven and three quarters, you can get these ones glued down straight away. Because this, once you've got this kind of stuck in place, the rest is just gonna be very, very easy to do. So I'm just gonna kind of fold this one up and just put some glue on the bottom here. And as I always mention, with this craft glue, it kind of, um, it absorbs the glue really well. So you can see now, just laying it back down and just making sure that you, that you get a perfect right angle. Those two sit perfectly over the top of each other. I'm just gonna hold that up a minute just so I can get it nice and straight. Like so, and get that one stuck into place. And you can see now that it's running still nice against that seven and three quarter marker up here, okay? So that's the most important one, is getting this one and this one dead straight. Then we can kind of just lie all the rest in place. Now start with the bottom one and get that one stuck down because then everything in between you can then use to kind of, you know, work out where it needs to be. But if you get your top and your bottom perfect, then you know all the others inside, even if they're slightly out, at least your outer frame is exactly the size it needs to be. So again, just making sure I keep my ruler, rearrange it again, make sure it's nice and straight. And then this bottom one is nice and lined up. And again, I'm just gonna put some so glue in, keeping that at the seven and three quarters, hold it there and then bring this down and make sure that it lines up nice and straight on this side here. Okay, like so. So again, just make sure this is lined up against that bottom line. The ruler's nicely lined up. That's still at seven and three quarters. And now I can just go get this one here, put some glue on this one, because this is obviously just sticking directly on top. And you just want to keep that kind of one eighth of an inch gap. This is nice and flush with the outer part there, and it's dead straight all the way along. Okay, you can see there, making sure that that stays nice and straight. Again, don't worry if it's a little bit, one's slightly, you know, got a bigger gap than the other. You know, if you look at the, you know, real wicker baskets, they're all a little bit higgledy-piggledy and, uh, you know, really old ones, they're kind of all a bit slopey and knackered, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so that's then that one. The next one is obviously going under, so you remember that one's stuck under, this one's stuck over, this one's got to stick under that bit of paper there, that card. So again... And like I keep saying, once you've done this bit here, this bit of work, the rest is really, really easy. So again, just sticking that one down and making sure it's all nice and straight. Okay, can you see that gap's slightly bigger than that one? So I just need to bring it up a little bit. Make sure it doesn't poke out past this one here. So again, you're keeping it nice and straight. I think they're about right. Again, it's still... They're all nice and flush with the side of the ruler as well, so you know you're not kind of coming up down at an angle or going up at an angle. Then this one has got to be stuck on top. I'm going to show you every step of this first bit, and then I'll, I'll whiz through a lot of the other bit because you'll know once I show you what you've got to do. So again, it's just sticking that one and keeping it all straight at any time. Okay, so that one was under, over, under, over. So this one's stuck on top. If you're not using this colour card, you're using other colours and maybe the glue's going all over the place, I'm going to be distressing it with ink and that hides lots of those kind of, like, you know, little, I guess, mistakes, grubby marks, things like that. So again, don't worry. Maybe if you're using like a white or a light yellow or something like an Easter colour, um, you can easily disguise all of those little glue marks and stuff. So again, just rearranging this one and the bottom one, just making sure it's all still in its place, which it is. And then this one is obviously going under there. So again, it needs to come. We've got all this excess glue and I'm rubbing it all off. That's why I love the craft card because it just disappears completely. It just absorbs anything. Okay, that's all still 
perfectly lined up. Everything is straight. And then the last one is going to go in here and that's going to go on top. Like okay, so. so that is that now done. Now what we can do is get rid of the ruler. Don't need that anymore. And you don't need to worry about lining it up with the bottom. That is now stuck in place, okay? So they're not going to go anywhere. But what you do want to do is get this side put in now. So again, so it's nice and flush. And then we do one in the middle and then kind of work inwards and then you know you've got it all equally, equally spaced. So this one here again is going to be woven the same pack, the same way that this one is. So you're starting with it over the top. Okay, so it's over this top one. Then it's under this one, over the next one, under this one, over the next one, and then under. And then it finishes being over the top of the other one. And again, you can see now, you just line it up till they're all nice and straight. If you've got any bits that are slightly coming over, we can trim them right at the end. You can see maybe that one's a little bit over and this one here, we trim all of that off. So again, don't worry too much. But again, just gonna get some glue and just pop it like so. This is the time bit. This is the bit that's, but it's so different and fun to do. I re I've really enjoyed doing this. Um, once you've done this bit, the sides and the base is very, very quick to do. But even now this bit is much, much quicker to what we uh, started off with. So you can see now, because it's all just falling, once that top piece is in, the rest, I'm just gonna take these ones out a minute just so I can go under on this next one. going over the top like so and then that one's going over the top if for some reason you got one wrong the wrong way or for example this one is meant to go over the top but I stuck it underneath just like the one before it's not the end of the world look you can see it still looks good but obviously that one does need to go over there so again there's lots of yeah just don't don't beat yourself up if you do stick one down and you think oh no it was meant to go under or well, you know it's been woven the wrong way don't worry okay and then again this one I'm just going over and already I can feel it starting to really kind of get nice and strong like this side already is starting to really strengthen okay then you want to get another piece and you're going to go in the middle and again this is going to go the top one is going to start over the top and then you, this is when you're, you're really starting to weave your card. So I'm going starting with it over the top of the first one. Then it's going under the second. Okay, then over the top, then under, over the top, under. And you can see if I lift it up where you've got the three, you should have three that are on the top and four that are underneath of those strips. Okay, and again, then I can just bring that top one right down and make sure it's you know, in the center, use your grid on your mat again if you have, so I'll just line it up here. And I can see everything is all staying nice and straight and it's all lining up where I want it to be. So now again, I can just put some glue. It's like one inch squares, so you can see I know roughly where I need to glue. Turn this one back around just so I can make sure I get this one straight and in the middle, like so. And then we're not going to glue any of these ones. All you're then gluing is just the bottom one. So don't worry about gluing, you don't need to. So then this bottom one here, I'm just going to put some glue in the middle there. And I think this just also adds to the effect of it, you know, looking even more genuine. Because once we put more and more in, these won't be flapping like they are at the moment. So that's those ones. And then you will have four pieces left. So two and two. And I think by doing the, the outer first, then the middle, and then the two, you know that you're always gonna have it the right distances apart. Okay, so then so, the next one. Now I just realized that you actually need nine strips going along this way, it's only seven going down. I don't know why when I prepared it all, I'd done seven and seven, so it's actually nine. So you will need, what's that, another, so it's actually five and a half sheets, so. Oops, sorry, my bad. Um, you do need a little bit more card. Um, so you actually need nine strips to go along this way. So I was thinking that's not gonna be right. My gaps are too big, that's why. So that one is, um, like I said, that, so that this next one, we started with it going under, over, under, over, under, over, under. So we just need to stick 
this one in place. Now we're actually putting three in this gap. So actually before I stick it down in this section and another three there. So this one then is going to start by going over the top of that one, under, over, under, over, and then finishes over that bottom one. Like so, and then this one will go you under. You see it just starts to really kind of reinforce itself once you start putting all these bits you know, once you're weaving them in and out, it becomes so strong. And then again, that one's going to sit. So you can see now how nicely that's coming together and these will be stuck down. And these three here at the bottom will be stuck down. So I'm going to crack on and do that now. If, once you start doing this and you've seen what I'm doing, this is very easy to adapt to any, you know, kind of size that you want. So if you don't want something this big and you don't want to use that much card, it's very easy to just, you know, make it work for whatever size you want. So, but I just love this size. And these are really special as well, so I don't mind. So you can see how I'm sticking them all down there, just, you know, just splodging the glue, obviously making sure that they're all nice and flush with the top, like so. And again, you've got nice, even little squares there, little holes, like so. Okay, and then again, just with these bottom ones here, that's that side all in place. And then again with this one, so that one there is over, so this one has to start under. So under, okay, so over. that is now all stuck down. So you just want to make sure that you go along all of the edges and make sure that every bit is stuck on all of your sides. And you should have, from where the, the bottom one starts here, up that side, that should be seven and three quarters, which it is. And your width of your box or your bag should be 11, okay? So it's a really nice size. And then all of this here is going to be the base. So flip it over and you're just going to fold up, keeping them nice and straight. So I'm folding this one, just make sure it's nice and flush with the side there. And then the next one, you need to be a bit more careful with those ones because they're obviously stuck on top. And again, you're just following the same piece. You're folding it back on itself, keeping it nice and straight each time you fold them because you're going to be sticking these directly on top of that other piece. So all what I've done now, obviously you need to do again. So you've got two pieces of these eight and a quarter by 11 woven. Okay, like so. so that's going to be the base. And then this one is going to stick on top like so. Now before we do that, keeps falling down. There we go. Turn it back over again. And I'm going to distress it. Now you don't have to because it does look really lovely like this. And actually you might not be able to see the ink showing up too well because it's not, I guess if I put the two together, it probably will come up better in the pictures, but you can see it's just like highlighted on the edges of this one. It just looks a little bit more 3D. That one looks no, actually, it's hard. It's really, really hard to see. Again, the, the brand that I've used is, is very similar. So this is completely optional. But basically, I've just got this little brown cube of ink and just inking it up there. And I'm just going over. And you can, you can actually see, yeah, you can in the picture now. Can you see the difference? And it's just highlighting the edges, just the joins of the wicker. Um, and it just, again, just, you know, gives it that slightly more realistic look. Um, and you can see I'm being very, very rough with it. I'm not taking too much care because, I, again, I want that kind of naturally looking distressed. And again, just pick up and you can just go on the edges and on all of your corners. So this bit's optional. I'm just going to go over and just finish this Okay, piece. So that is now all distressed up. And again, if I kind of pick that up when it catches against the light, you see it's got this really cool look to it. Okay, so now we need to stick them down. So that's them, you know, both upright. So this is the, the sides that you're going to see. So you want to flip them over and then put them on top like this. Okay, so the side that you distressed will be on the bottom. And then basically each one you're going to stick over the top. Okay, and they should, if everything else is all lined up, they should all perfectly sit over the top of each other. If they don't, if it's slightly out, do not worry because it's on the bottom anyway, you're not going to see it. And you can also put some more card over the top if you want to reinforce it anyway. So I'm going to turn it this way and I'm just going to put glue all on the bottom there. 
and then stick that first one on top, like so. You want to make sure this end comes right up. Okay, and then again, I'm going to go on to the next one. Just go along and stick all of those down. Okay, so they're all stuck down. As long as your outer one is nice and straight, the two, you know, two outside parts. I've got two that are maybe a little bit off, that one there and that one there, which is funny because it's the same ones. Obviously, the, the second one's in from both sides, but it's not enough for, to make me, you know, worry, and it's, it's fine. So they are now all hardening up really nicely. So then, when that now comes together, it will be like this. Now, this would also, when I was doing it, would make a really good, big, huge, journal, um, like, a, you know, scrapbook. Um, you know, that could be the start. You'd have to obviously put card on there, but what a lovely cover to a book that would make as well. So again, endless possibilities with this. Um, and it's a lovely shopping bag style as well. So again, lots and lots of ideas. Now grab your two side bits. And we're gonna do a little bit of cutting and burnishing. So you just wanna burnish the score lines like so. Okay, and then that middle line that we just scored down to six inches, just pinch like so. Okay, and then all you want to do is along the, the short end here is just cut up, scissors are a bit funny, just cut up each one and then just cut it. I'm just notching it off slightly on the sides there, okay? And then on the top ones, very, very slightly, just maybe take a slither off just so it doesn't kind of come over the edge. If it does, you can just trim it again, but this should stop it doing that altogether. And again, just take a very small amount off of the tops. And then just cut those out. So just removing the little squares. I probably should have moved that out of the way a minute. <laughs> and that's what you should have, is that cut out like so. Okay, so then with the, make sure you've got your distress side facing down. Start with this side here. This short side here, fold it up and you're gonna put glue on there and then we're gonna stick it perfectly within this section here, so. Like so. And I'm just going to stick that so it should meet that strip perfectly. And then lift it up, fold it right over and make sure it's obviously nice and straight with that side there. And just give that a little bit of time to set. I go over to this side, do exactly the same. Lift this the other one up and leave that one a minute. Go back to the other side. And now we're going to start bringing the sides up. So this side first, I'm just going to run glue all along this little tab, like so. And then keeping it folded inwards, okay, bring this up and just make sure that it all sticks nicely and it should meet perfectly with the top and just hold that in place just so it can kind of stick. Pop it on its side and then you can really make sure you stick it down. And again, you want to make sure you've got nice straight sides there. And that will all stick in lovely. This, <laughs> my mum's ribbon wall there on the back is catching. Let's just push that all back in. Okay, and then again with this one. So I'm going to put some more glue. And just get your bone tool in there as well and you can just make sure that you get really nice join okay so now you can see how that's coming together i need to just rub out up at side there totally forgot and on that one totally forgot i need to just rub those out and then this one so you can, you can just fold those in and that's going to come and sit down over the top so i'm just going to run glue on these two and stick okay, them in place so there is the main you know the base of our basket you can see there the bottom looks really really cool it looks like a proper like crate, old crate. So like I said, if you wanted to reinforce that, if you do want to put some card inside, like over the top there, then I would say you were going to need a piece of, I would do three and one eighth of an inch by 10 and seven eighths of an inch. Okay. So it's just slightly shorter and it should get, you should have quite a snug fit then. 
Right, now we need to, let's stick on my little carrots. So I've got these three here. I've got my glue gun nice and hot. And just gonna run some glue down there and stick that one. Stick the middle one first. Obviously you can decorate however you want. But yeah, if you can get these from the pound land, I just thought they looked really good because some of the stuff in there is really naff, but I actually thought these looked rather fun. So that's those. And then we just need to do our handle. So your handle will be the same, strip again, one by um, 11 And then inches. you just want to just kind of roll it between your thing finger and your thumb. I'm going to just stress it up a little bit as well, that same brown. Okay, so it's now just a little bit dirty looking. And this is then basically going to sit over the top of the very centre of the front. So it's the one, two, three, four, the fifth strip in, it will go perfectly over the top there. Now if you want to have it underneath, you can do, but I personally, I like it over the top. So I'm just lining it up exactly over the top. And so it's, you know, just coming up um, it's in line with the bottom of the strip as well, so they all fit perfectly. I've just got a little hole punch here, one eighth of an inch punch. I'm just going to try and centre that in the middle there. And then I've just got these big brads, which I can't remember where they were from. Um, they would have been the range or the works, it's usually those places. And just open that one and then go on to the other side and again just line that one up. Punch like so, and then just pop your bread in again. And there you have it. And then I'm just going to finish it off with, let me just get rid of those strings there. I've just got the paper shred. This is again from the pound land. Um, you get loads. To be honest, I could probably put that, you know, it would be enough for both. But I'm just going to open it all up a bit. And stick that all inside. Again, any colours you want, if you've got yellow um, paper, shredded paper, and then you've got little chicks kind of stuck on the outside, that would look really nice. Again, you've got such a blank canvas with these, I think anything will look great against them. Nice spring colours, but isn't that just so adorable? I absolutely so pleased with these. Um, so that is the first project of Easter 2018. And then through this week, you're going to watch me make projects to fill up this, or these little, they're not little, rather big baskets. So I can't even get them both in my view there. But there you have it. So I hope you've liked the first tutorial for this week. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so and give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.